From the dirt to the links, it's day two of the Central Nebraska Junior Amateur where champions are crowned at Riverside in Grand Island. After spending day one at Lachlan Country Club in Hastings, Championship Friday takes us to GI where golfers are playing for bragging rights and a new golf bag to boot. Our local boys dominate the top three in the overall standing. Sam Wells of St. Paul is coming off a minus two on day one. He comes down to earth a little for a plus four today. Still good enough for a third place finish in the 16 plus division. Coming in second is Carney's own Dylan Dahlstedt. He stays even keeled both days despite the course change ends the tournament with a dead even total. But let's talk about some home cook in Grand Island's Preston Villai takes advantage of his home course, comes away winning the CNJA by five strokes at five under par. Feeling really good. I've, I'm so glad that I decided to um, put in the work, put in the effort, and finally show it off and play better. Um, it's been a grind recently. I had a really rough start at the summer, and moving through the summer, it's gotten so much better. I'm so excited right now. Here's a look at day two results across the local four viewing area for the boys. Four of the top five overall finishers are from the area. Some finished just outside the top ten. As for the girls, Anna Brandt from Hastings looking to make up some ground from yesterday. She finishes with a plus 21 for the tournament, which lands her at 18th place for the event. As for Haley Kankel representing Grand Island, she comes into the day tied for 12th overall and shoots one stroke better than yesterday's round. That bumps her one spot shy of finishing in the top ten. Here's a closer look at how our local girls finished. The Tri-Cities getting great representation in the CNJA.